we often worry about how do we figure out what the coaches are going to be doing and what the goal of the program is and what expertise we want them to have. Well, we need to also simultaneously prepare principals and prepare teachers for working with coaches. And if we fail to do this, then our coaching program is going to be a little more complex. So let me offer just a few suggestions about the critical components that I think need to be in a principal preparation for working with coaches and a teacher's preparation for working with coaches. And then I'm going to give you um, an opportunity to perhaps offer some of your own ideas. First and foremost, how a principal talks to a staff about coaching in a school is, has a huge influence on the success of the coaching in that school. So the degree to which a principal is able to communicate how coaching will advance student learning without saying things like, or inferring or insinuating things like we have to change our teaching practices because what we're doing isn't working. How closely we are able to align to a continuous improvement message versus, oh, we have these horrible problems message will influence substantially how successful coaching will be. If teachers in a school believe that the coach is there, as I was in my situation, to fix the teachers, the coach may as well pack her bags or his bags and go home. Because there will never be a relationship of trust, ever. The coach and principal need to work closely together to build the introductory message. And the introductory message is, how does the role of coaching support what we're striving to do in this school? And then who is this person in that role? So we work with principals on shaping that message so that it comes from a positive approach, so that it comes from the approach of continuous improvement, and so that the focus is always on student achievement and not necessarily on fixing teaching practices, even though we are going to refine teaching as we do this. So I want you to hear that part. The second thing that's really crucial in working with principals and helping them be strong advocates for coaching and strong supporters of coaches is how often and how principals and coaches communicate. I think it's very, bless you, important for principals and coaches to communicate frequently minimally once a week, in a sit down, not a fly through the hallway conversation, with an agenda and a focus, and that within that conversation, there are strict rules and guidelines about confidentiality and what's permissible to be discussed and what's not permissible to be discussed. We have to often help coaches and principals understand that. 